Hey there, WTF, is this real? Um, it's about to get real, because this is a tutorial I'm making you so you can see how to get these uh, details in here kind of preserved when you cut something out. Well, actually, let's, uh, let's start at the beginning. If I hit Control N, it brings up a new canvas, and I'm going to say dog. Boom. If I hold Control and press V, it'll paste the image that I just right-clicked and copied from the website. And from here, you can do all kinds of stuff to cut it out. A lot of people like using the pen tool. Since I don't like people, I'm going to use the quick select brush. Just going to go around here and quickly grab all that. You can adjust the brush size up here, and you can zoom in to get it as good as you want it to be. You'll usually find that this is kind of jaggy if you go into a fine edge. But I like to smooth things out to kind of take care of that. So, boom. Smoothed out. But you can see that the uh, fur here isn't very natural. So, what do you do? Well, first off, I'm going to delete this uh, selection. How embarrassing. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. And then I'm going to hold Control Shift I that selects the inverse. Now I'll hit delete and boom I've got myself back to uh, where I am on this other canvas. So closing this out. Okay so now that I use the quick select brush to uh, get this rough edge on my hairline I'm gonna switch over to the eraser tool by pressing E and then I'm gonna feather out the area we want to look more like individual hairs now we're gonna erase it but we're gonna bring it back in a second using the history panel here to my right so what I'm gonna do is make sure that I have an art history brush kinda checked in back at the original blocky cutout phase right so I have that checked I go over to my art history brush which I just have to press Y to get to I think it might just be called the history brush yeah well it's a free tutorial what do you want up here I get a few more options on my different brushes by toggling the brush panel. The brush I'm looking for in particular is dune grass. With that one selected I can go over to scattering and check that and already it looks a lot more organic but to match the uh, back of my dog I gotta flip that horizontally so I'll flip the x-axis and then maybe I'll just tweak the bend of that a little bit. There are different effects you can do in here but we don't need them right now. So with that set aside I should be able to go over to my canvas and start to brush in what the hair looked like at a previous stage and it looks pretty organic unless you run into that hard edge so again you kinda wanna choose your brush head wisely I use the bracket key to switch to a smaller one and by affecting how much you want the uh, angle to be random and yada yada blah 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 I think that's about it I guess messing with the opacity up here helps so super duper 